What's up, Third Nation? I'm out in my garage. I'm going to show you a few things you can do with a jump rope. You know, it's a very great tool to use. It's also very inexpensive if you can order one or if you really have a chance to buy one. Uh, this is very good for working on that footwork. All right, we really want to be twitchy in what we do. We want, we want high speed movements, and this is a great little device to use. So, first of all, when fitting a jump rope, it's very important to understand this. So that way, it clears your head well. It doesn't. It doesn't have too much slack on it because when all that happens, it kind of affects your turn of the rate. Okay, so if you look here, all right, I'm going to step on the with my both my feet, feet together as if I was going to jump rope, and I'm holding the handles, and the handles should come up to the middle of my chest. That's how I know a jump rope fits. Okay, so start off with basic movements. Okay, but I like to the cues I like to tell people when I coach them through jump roping, and I had to learn myself. I wasn't very good at it when I was younger, but I got better in college and after that. Is you want to listen for the rope to strike the ground. When it strikes the ground, most of the action should be in your ankles. Okay, you're not trying to jump as high as you can. You just want to leave the ground a little bit. So here we'll start here, all right? And I'm going to start from the back, all right? And my arms will probably be right about out here, okay? I'm going to have a circumductive motion on my wrists when I'm doing this, right, to keep the rope moving. And I'm going to listen for it to hit the ground and then I'm going to hop, okay? So watch very closely. Okay? So nice and easy. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna put my keys down quick. All right, it'll a little bit. Okay, so next, all right, you can also look at, all right, varying up. So if you get good at that, go ahead and try to pick up a little bit faster. So watch real quick. All right, so you start slow, go faster. Nice little taps on the ground. Okay, my knees are a little bit unlocked. All the, all the activities in my ankles. All right. That's basically jump rope in there, okay? If you wanted to vary it up a little bit, if you got really good at that. All right. You start doing movements of your feet. So I'm gonna do a side hop with both feet. Side to side hop, so watch. Side to side movement. Like so, okay? No one you can, another one you can do is jump rope with a twist. So I'm twisting my feet my pelvis and my lower torso, deep stretch. Okay. Next one is I'm going to do a single, like an alternating single leg double hop. Oops. So like this, ready? Small little hops each leg. Just raise your knee a little bit. I'm going to do a hopscotch or a jumping jack, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Next, we're going to do what's called a stagger set. So, my feet are going to go this way. Okay. Okay, just like that, okay? Now what you're gonna do is two steps over, two steps back. Like that, okay, you just can't do the side step. Oops, try again.
Okay? We do around the world. So watch closely. Okay, my feet are gonna gradually turn. I'm gonna go clockwise, then I'll come back around counterclockwise. Those are a few basic jump ropes. Try them out, okay? I like to do them maybe 20 seconds at a time. I have five seconds a week. You can do it between exercises or wherever you want to stick them, but very good device.